Tom Norris from the Hagen Ranch Branch Library of the Palm Beach County Library System. For Band Book Week this year, I've chosen The Grapes of Wrath, which was written by John Steinbeck and published in 1939. This is the 75th anniversary of its publication. Steinbeck won the Pulitzer Prize for it in 1940. It depicts the difficulties faced by tenant farmers living in the area known as the Dust Bowl, which included Oklahoma. Many migrated to California, though their hopes were met with disappointment, poverty, and prejudice. Even when I lived on the West Coast in the 1970s, some poor people there were still referred to derisively as dumb Okies. The book was banned in California for the way it depicted some of the residents there. And for its themes, it was banned in other states for a time as well. Joseph Stalin banned it in the Soviet Union, but for a different reason. He didn't want poor people there to read about a family in the United States that despite extreme poverty could still scrape enough money together to buy a used car. In this passage, a tenant farmer family is being told they'll have to leave the house and land. The squatting men look down again. What do you want us to do? We can't take less share of the crop. We're half starved now. The kids are hungry all the time. We got no clothes, torn and ragged. If all the neighbors weren't the same, we'd be ashamed to go to meeting. And at last, the owner men came to the point. The tenant system won't work anymore. One man on a tractor can take the place of 12 or 15 families, pay him a wage, and take all the crop. We have to do it. We don't like to do it, but the monster's sick. Something happened to the monster. But you'll kill the land with cotton. We know. We've got to take cotton quick before the land dies. Then we'll sell the land. Lots of families in the East would like to own a piece of land. The tenant men looked up alarmed. But what'll happen to us? How will we eat? You'll have to get off the land. The plows will go right through the dooryard. And now the squatting men stood up angrily. Grandpa took up the land, and he had to kill the Indians and drive them away. And Pa was born here, and he killed weeds and snakes. Then a bad year came, and he had to borrow a little money. And we was, we was born here, there in the door. Our children born here, and Pa had to borrow money. The bank owned the land then, but we stayed, and we got a little bit of what we raised. We know that, all that. It's, it's not us, it's the bank. A bank isn't like a man. Or an owner with 50,000 acres, he isn't like a man either. That's the monster. Sure, cried the tenant men, but it's our land. We measured it and broke it up. We were born on it. We got killed on it, died on it. Even if it's no good, it's still ours. That's what makes it ours. Being born on it, working it, dying on it. That makes ownership, not a paper with numbers on it. We're sorry, it's not us, it's the monster. The bank isn't like a man. Yes, but the bank is only made of men. No, you're wrong there, quite wrong there. The bank is something else than men. It happens that every man in a bank hates what the bank does, and yet the bank does it. The bank is something more than men. I tell you, it's the monster. Men made it, but they can't control it. The tenants cried, Grandpa killed Indians. Pa killed snakes for the land. Maybe we can kill banks. They're worse than Indians and snakes. Maybe we got to fight to keep our land like Pa and Grandpa did. And now the owner men grew angry. You, you'll have to go. But it's ours, the tenant men cried. We know nope. the bank, the monster owns it. You'll have to go. We'll get guns like Grandpa when the Indians came. What then? Well, first the sheriff and then the troops. You'll be stealing if you try to stay. You'll be murderers if you kill to stay. The monster isn't men, but it can make men do what it wants. 1939, John Steinbeck, The Grapes of Wrath.